A wizard called Spell God. Jamie's life was about to change forever. Not that he knew it as he ran through the forest near his home. Playing with friends at the weekend was Jamie's absolute favourite thing to do, and on a sunny day, the forest was a brilliant maze of trees that you could play games in. As Jamie ran deeper into the forest, he noticed something on the floor, something wooden, but not like a tree, like a trap door. My friends are going to love this, he thought as he reached down to find the handle. The trap door opened and there was a wooden staircase leading down. Jamie could barely believe his eyes and couldn't wait to find out what exactly was down the trap door. So, being led by curiosity and curiosity alone, Jamie made his way through the trap door and down the staircase. There was just enough light for Jamie to find his way to the bottom of the stairs. As he descended, he heard bubbling and saw little shafts of rainbow light glinting off the walls. It seemed he had entered some sort of underground cavern. There were crystals and potions and strange looking enchanted objects scattered all around the walls. No one's gonna believe this, he thought. I'd better go and get some other people to see it. Otherwise, people would think I've made this place up. Jamie started to go back up the stairs, but the trap door shut. Oh well, he thought. I'd best have a bit of an explore. I'm sure the others will see the trapdoor and open it soon enough. Again, led by his curiosity and curiosity alone, Jamie explored the cavern. Excuse me, this is my home, came a trembly voice. Jamie jumped out of his skin and looked round to see a man in a big robe standing next to a robot with a horn. I'm Spell God, and this is my friend Unicorn Bot. Unicorn Bot was a dazzling creature with a shiny white coat and radiant rainbow horn, and a fancy pants uniform that sparkled with a magical glow. Unicorn Bot approached Jamie. Oh, it's okay, but she's friendly, said Spell God. Unicorn Bot muzzled Jamie's hand and started to make a contented noise that seemed like a cross between a purr and a grunt. Unicorn Bot came to me a long time ago, said Spell God. She's very friendly and has helped save lots of people. When I first met her, oh, she was ever so lonely. So I asked her to come live here where she can use her magic to help people. Can she help me open the trap door? asked Jamie. She can, but first, we need your help. You discovered us for a reason. You were drawn here by Unicorn Bot's magic, which means you probably have special powers of your own. Jamie was a bit taken aback. The only time anyone had called him magic was when he scored a goal in the inter-school championship last year. He was pretty sure he had no actual magic to help with things. But there was real trouble happening in the underworld that Spell God lived in. So many of us live here under the ground, and it has always been so peaceful. That was until Bad Bot. Spell God explained that Bad Bot was a bad robot with an even worse name. Bad Bot lived in a dark, distant part of the underground, and he was always trying to steal Spell God's magical crystals. <laughs> but that's not the worst of it, said Spell God. I've had word that Bad Bot intends to ruin my magical garden, and if he does, it'll be the end of things for us here in the underworld. Jamie was getting a bit scared. Why would your garden being destroyed ruin the underworld, he asked. It turned out that Spell God's garden contains all of his magical spells and provides all the light and warmth for the underworld. Spell God and Unicorn Bot had been staying up every night for the past few weeks to make sure Bad Bot didn't come into their garden, but they were getting sleepy. And that's where Jamie's life was about to change forever. Jamie had more energy than most eight-year-olds. He could stay awake way past his bedtime, much to the annoyance of his dad, who was always telling him how important sleep was. How are we going to stop Bad Bot? asked Jamie. Spell God looked at him very curiously. We must cross the river of lava. 
Make the stalactites laugh and then confront bad bot, said Spellgod. Oh, just that, said Jamie, trying to make a joke. That sort of humour should work well with the stalactites, so oh, they like a good laugh, said Spellgod. Unicorn bot indicated towards a dimly lit passage. Their mission was about to begin. Jamie wasn't very brave, but he was curious. And so, motivated by curiosity, and curiosity alone, Jamie set off with Spell God and Unicorn Bot to confront Bad Bot. Before long, they reached a rickety bridge over a river of lava. The bridge creaked as they slowly went over it. Unicorn Bot's hoof tripped, but they managed to stay upright, and despite the bridge swaying a bit, they managed to get to the other side. Before them were a series of stalactites hanging from the ceiling they were in. Tell us a joke, tell us a joke, tell us a joke or we'll give you a poke. Well, Jamie didn't want to be poked by a stalactite, so he told his best joke. Why did the banana go to the doctor? There was a pause. The stalactites looked at each other. Oh yeah, I didn't mention, did I, that stalactites have eyes? Yeah, that's a thing. After a pause that seemed slightly too long, the stalactites said, We don't know. Why did the banana go to the doctor? Jamie replied, Because he wasn't peeling too well. <laughs> there was another pause, which once again seemed ever slightly too long, and then... <laughs> the stalactites started to laugh so hard, they were falling off the ceiling. When they had stopped, they lay there and said... <laughs> You may pass. So Spell God, Unicorn Bot, and Jamie did exactly that. They went through the cave and finally reached the magical garden. And there he was, causing mayhem. It was Bad Bot, and just like his name suggested, he was pretty bad. He was already trying to dismantle all the crystals that held Spell God's magic. Jamie looked at Bad Bot, and Bad Bot looked at Jamie. Jamie was scared, but he was also curious. So, driven by his curiosity, and his curiosity alone, Jamie took a step forward, and a strange thing happened. Bad Bot started to run away. Please, please, I'll do anything, but please stop chasing me, said Bad Bot, his battery barely letting him get the words out. I want you to leave this magical garden alone, said Jamie. Bad Bot looked sad. But where will I have my fun? At this point, Spell God and Unicorn Bot caught them up. Oh, I'm ever so sorry that we're late, said Spell God. We're not as fast as you are. You see, I told you that you had special powers. Jamie had a thought. Are you lonely? He asked Bad Bot. Jamie had a thought. Are you lonely? He asked Bad Bot. Bad Bot looked up, rather shamefaced and nodded his head up and down. Bad Bot, I want you to meet Unicorn Bot. You're both robots who have been lonely. Now you have someone to play with. Oh, well done, Jamie, said Spell God. Just then, Jamie remembered. He'd been playing with his friends. He waved a goodbye to Unicorn Bot, Spell God, and Bad Bot, who, by the way, really needed to change his name, but spoiler alert, he didn't. When he came out of the trapdoor, Jamie noticed something new. He was tired. He never felt tired. He let out a yawn and slowly walked home. That night when Dad put him to bed, he went straight to sleep for the first time ever and dreamed about all his new friends in the underworld, knowing that now he could see them whenever he went to sleep. Thank you to Harrison for your amazing suggestion, a wizard called Spell God. And really, Spell God is the perfect name for a wizard. So thank you so much for that. Also, big thanks to Violet for coming up with the character Unicorn Bot. Absolutely love it. Is it a unicorn? Is it a bot? Smash them both together. Thank you very much. If you have any ideas for characters you'd like to see in our stories, use the StoryQuest character creator over at funkidslive.com. So, Harrison, you are our story master this week for a wizard called Spell God. If you were a wizard, what would you do? If you could do all the spells, you had all the magic, what would you do with it? I cast loads of spells to get me Kirsty. <laughs> okay. Uh, just, so, specifically fried chicken, you don't want any other food? 
McDonald's. Yeah, okay, that's fine. There's there's, lo- there's loads of food out there. So, uh, Harrison, you've used your magic, you've got your food, you're full. <laughs> then what are you doing? I mean, you could do so much that's not just about fast food. What are you doing? Play football match and into Miami. So you you want to be playing a lot with Messi, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay, we figured it out. Where would you play on a pitch for Inter Miami? Midfielder. Midfielder. Well, let's say this. Messi passes you the ball. You flick it up. You volley it into the top corner. You've scored. How are you celebrating, Harrison? What are you doing? Point into, point into the sky. Harrison, thank you so much for being our story master this week, mate. Thank you. Got an idea for a story? Tell us the title at funkidslive.com forward slash story quest and we could bring your story to life. For a new story each week, make sure you hit subscribe or follow so you don't miss a single episode.